Step back to 1988 and you'll find yourself in the nostalgic embrace of a TV series that captured the essence of growing up the wonder years. This coming-of-age gem invites you to relive the laughter, shock, and poignant moments that shaped a generation. Ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor stole the show for you? The Wonder Years introduces us to a stellar cast, making it hard to pick just one favorite. Each character brings a unique flavor to the narrative, leaving you with a tough choice. As you dive into the series, think about the impact it had on your own life. Can you recall a personal story where the Wonder Years left a lasting impression or perhaps inspired you in unexpected ways? Share your experiences. We're all ears for the tales that tie us together through this timeless show. Now, brace yourself for a journey filled with funny, shocking, and sometimes sad facts, all reasons to keep watching. There's more to uncover, and the best is yet to come. Before we continue, we're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Wonder Years? Drop your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. So grab a seat, hit play, and let the nostalgia wash over you. The Wonder Years has a lot in store, and we're excited to unravel it together. Stay tuned for more surprises. The Wonder Years, an iconic TV series from 1988, continues to resonate with audiences, leaving an enduring impact on the landscape of coming-of-age narratives. Its legacy lies not just in compelling storytelling, but also in the relatability of the characters, each contributing a unique flavor to the narrative tapestry. The show's ability to capture the essence of growing up in a multifaceted manner is what makes it stand out. It's not just a stroll down memory lane, it's a vivid portrayal of the laughter, shock, and poignant moments that shape us. The series introduced viewers to a stellar cast, and each actor's contribution was a testament to their versatile acting prowess. As we revisit the series, we're prompted to reflect on our own lives. Who among us hasn't been influenced by the trials and tribulations of the characters? The show, with its relatable characters and genuine storytelling, has a knack for evoking personal memories and experiences. It's more than a show. It's a mirror reflecting the universal struggles of adolescence. Fast forward to today, and its relevance remains intact. Its exploration of friendship, family dynamics, and the awkward yet beautiful journey into adulthood transcends time. The show, in all its simplicity, has become a cultural touchstone, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of those who experienced it during its original run and those discovering it for the first time. The impact extends beyond the screen, inspiring conversations about life, love, and growing up. Its ability to resonate with different generations speaks volumes about the timeless nature of its themes. In a bustling world, it offers a quiet refuge, inviting viewers to connect with a shared nostalgia that transcends age and background. In conclusion, it isn't just a TV show, it's a part of our collective consciousness. Its legacy is not confined to the annals of history, but lives on through the stories it told and the emotions it stirred. A journey with it is like revisiting an old friend, and its enduring relevance is a testament to the enduring power of genuine storytelling. Winnie's full name, Gwendolyn, offers a glimpse into the character's identity. While Daniel Stern served as the series narrator, R.I. Gross took on the role for the pilot episode. The show's heavy reliance on popular music led to syndication challenges a decade post-cancellation, causing delays in the complete series DVD release. The Wonder Years of 1988, a coming-of-age classic, resonates through its relatable characters. The series navigates the universal journey of growing up, weaving laughter, shock, and poignant moments into its narrative fabric. The cast's diverse talents contribute to the show's enduring impact. The series' musical backdrop, although iconic, posed syndication hurdles due to extensive rights. A decade after its initial end, the delay in releasing the complete series on DVD stemmed from these complications. Navigating familial and friendship dynamics, the Wonder Years transcends time. Its relevance persists, offering a quiet refuge for viewers of different ages and backgrounds. The series, like an old friend, echoes through shared nostalgia, connecting generations. In the realm of family dinners within the Wonder Years, a recurring theme is the mention of a potato dish during almost every dinner scene, adding a subtle touch of continuity to the Arnold family's meals. Notably, Alicia Silverstone made a guest appearance as Jessica in an episode. During filming, Fred Savage, portraying the lead character, expressed interest in Silverstone and requested her phone number. However, she playfully provided her parents' fax number, leading to an amusing attempt by Savage to reach out. Contrary to internet rumors, the character of Paul Pfeiffer was not played by rocker Marilyn Manson. 
The role actually belonged to Josh Saviano. Manson, being 19 years old in 1988, would not have been eligible to portray a 12-year-old character when the series began. The Wonder Years, a 1988 coming-of-age classic, explores relatable characters and universal experiences. Its enduring impact extends beyond the screen, as evidenced by the diverse talents of its cast and the challenges faced due to the extensive use of popular music. Despite these syndication hurdles, the series remains a quiet refuge, connecting viewers of different ages and backgrounds through shared nostalgia. Fred Savage's mother preserved the New York Jets jacket worn by Kevin during the early seasons of the series. In 2014, Savage announced his intention to donate the jacket to the Smithsonian at the Institute's request for show props. Wayne's birthday, revealed in Season 5, Episode 14, is April 6th, corresponding to his Vietnam Draft Lottery number 312. Interestingly, Jason Hervey, who portrayed Wayne, also shares the same birthday. In 2013, ABC contemplated making the Wonder Years edgier as Kevin matured. Discussions involved potentially hiring TV writer and producer David Chase. However, Chase's script, featuring Kevin emulating Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye, proved too intense for the show's tone, and Chase didn't join the Wonder Years. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a glimpse into the series' evolution, showcasing the personal connections of the cast and the creative decisions made during its production. The Wonder Years continues to be a tapestry of intriguing facts woven into the fabric of television history. Fred Savage holds the distinction of being the sole cast member present in every episode of the series. His consistent presence throughout contributes to the sense of familiarity that viewers associate with it. The educational institutions featured in the storyline, namely RFK Junior High, Lincoln Junior High, and McKinley High School, carry names associated with assassinated individuals. This subtle detail adds a layer of historical reference to the characters' academic lives, subtly intertwining real-world events with the fictional narrative. Fred Savage's journey to becoming the lead began with his roles in Vice Versa and The Princess Bride. Casting directors, unfamiliar with these movies, secured a rough cut of vice versa. Impressed by his performance, they opted for him to spearhead the series. This behind-the-scenes insight highlights the pivotal role his talent played in shaping the iconic character. In the expansive world of the show, family dinners gain a touch of continuity through a recurring theme, the mention of a potato dish in nearly every dinner scene involving the Arnold family. This subtle inclusion adds a thread of consistency to the familial backdrop, anchoring the series in the everyday routines of the characters. Alicia Silverstone, recognized for her guest appearance as Jessica, found herself inadvertently entwined in an amusing episode behind the scenes. Fred Savage, portraying the lead character, expressed interest in her and saw her phone number. However, the actress playfully provided her parents' fax number, leading to a lighthearted attempt by him to connect. Contrary to online rumors, the character of Paul Pfeiffer was not portrayed by rocker Marilyn Manson. The role belonged to Josh Saviano. The clarification dispels any misconceptions about the casting, reinforcing the accurate attribution of characters to their respective actors. Fred Savage's mother played a unique role off-screen by preserving the New York Jets jacket worn by Kevin during the early seasons. In a gesture of historical significance, he announced his intention to donate the jacket to the Smithsonian, responding to the Institute's request for show props in 2014. Wayne's birthday revelation in Season 5, Episode 14, aligns with April 6, corresponding to his Vietnam Draft Lottery number 312. The synchronicity of Jason Hervey, who portrayed Wayne, sharing the same birthday adds an intriguing layer to the character's background. In 2013, discussions surfaced about making the show edgier as Kevin matured. ABC contemplated involving TV writer and producer David Chase for this transition. However, Chase's script, featuring Kevin emulating Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye, proved too intense for its tone, leading to his exclusion from the creative team. These behind-the-scenes glimpses offer insights into the evolution of the series, showcasing the personal connections of the cast and the creative decisions that shaped its production. Each fact adds a layer of depth to it, making it a rich tapestry of intriguing details.